Hey, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Things.com, and in today's video, I want to welcome our new Thingster freelancer student, Aaron. So, welcome, Aaron, to the Freelancer course. Great to have you on board. I think you made a great decision joining the Freelancer course. And yeah, in this video, in these welcome videos, I want to first of all tell you you are appreciated. Second, I want to give you some practical tips. And in today's video, I want to look at something very specific, but I think extremely important and and extremely uh, educational, and also with like lots of educational value and also lots of, lots of practical value for you as a new freelance uh, freelancer on um, on Upwork or any other freelancing platform. So um, in this video, I want to talk about uh, being top rated on Upwork. So Upwork has has a, a term or uh, or um, um, like a badge um, uh, that is called the top rated badge. Like you can see it in an example here, this uh, Sven D, which is a blockchain architect. So we can also check it out on, on Upwork itself. So if you, if you go on Upwork, if you search for blockchain, actually we get recommended uh, this Sven D who uh, makes uh, $999 per hour, um, having earned already like uh, almost a million bucks on Upwork. And uh, Sven D is actually a top rated freelancer and you can see it um, uh, on the badge here um, on, on the right, you see this uh, top rated uh, badge. And what does, what does it mean actually being top rated? Um, so let's go back to the slide. Um, so most, most importantly, so if you are top rated, you uh, Upwork actually certi certifies to you that you belong to the top 10% of the freelancers on Upwork, right? Top 10%. And I always tell, tell my freelancer student, actually, and many freelancers that follow the action steps in the, in the Things the Freelancer course, uh, um, can reach, reach this um, uh, top rated status, reach the top 10% of, uh, of, the, of the people in the marketplace. It is not difficult to do it. You just need to be persistent, right? Because like, I, I would say like 50% of the people you can already better like you can already be better um, um, than 50, 60, 70% of the people by just being persistent, by just staying there, improving over time, just staying on the line, right? Because uh, because of the cross screener effect, most people uh, actually um, um, always like try out different opportunities, always switch and having the switching cost and uh, don't focus on being being just a great freelancer, offering great value. And uh, so if you belong to the top 10% of the people very quickly, uh, let me show you like top 10% of the people. You can see like an example of a top rated freelancer here. But in general, like any marketplace has this income skewed or Pareto, distributed, Pareto distribution. So you have a minority of people earning a majority of the income. And now if you look at some official income statistics, like the top... Um, in the top percentile, so the top 10% of the people in the US actually make a household income of uh, 201k per year, right? So if, if in 2021. So we have a household income percentile in the, in the first column and second column is a year and the top 10%, which is like the 90% percentile, makes 201k. Whereas the, in, the average income of a household is somewhere between uh, 33,000 and 134,000. Okay, so probably more towards 33,000 because average is always like skewed. Uh, um, average is always uh, over, um, um, it's always like higher than the median because on like the average is skewed by the people who make a lot of income in any income distribution. So if you belong to the top 10% of in any niche, in any freelancing niche, it, it can be Python, it can be uh, it can be PHP, it can be blockchain development, it can be uh, really anything. It could be even even like design or user interface or consulting or business stuff or accounting, right? Uh, and if you are top 10% in any niche, I would argue that you could you you would make a great income, right? You you would belong like more to the uh, like uh, you could make six figures in almost any niche, right? And even like in coding niches, definitely. If you be if you belong to top ten percent in any coding niche, like right, just statistically, you make six figures easily, right? So uh, being top ten percent is actually uh, should be your goal. And on Upwork, actually, it's just a gamified experience. You can become uh, top rated, right? And being top rated means this should be your target. This means that you belong to the top. 10% Upwork thinks you belong to the top 10% and you um, actually get get satisfied this badge being top rated. So how do you get the top rated status? Actually, you, you just need to have a couple of things. First, a current job success score of 90% of higher. So after you complete a job, Upwork gives you, uh, Upwork asks the client whether the job was successful or not. If so nine out of 10 cl clients should just have this binary choice. They sh should choose, yes, the job was successful. This is just delivering the work, right? This is more like, client satisfaction than than client delight right it is more like it is the basis so you should actually satisfy all clients who should finish all jobs even if you 
if you don't like that job, even if it is like hard, just like, first of all, this is a base. If you are already doing this, you already belong to like, I would say top 20, 30% of the freelancers. Just satisfy the specifications you have actually uh, um, agreed upon with the client. Then um, you should be active on the platform, which means that um, uh, you should be you should be hired by like during the last 90 days. It's very simple, like checkbox, right? You should have a 12 months earnings of at least 1000 bucks. It's also simple, like earning uh, 1000 bucks in 12 months. You should be um, available. So you should like, this actually means on your profile, you can you can switch a flag whether you are currently available or not. If you're not available, you don't get top rated flag, uh, top rated uh, badge, right? Uh, you should, you should your account should not be closed or violate any, any terms. It's also like, these are simple things. Uh, you should be active on the platform, which means that in the last 90 days, you should have done something on the platform, right? They do some earn, have some earnings or accepted an invitation or something, yeah? which, which is also very easy if you are working on Upwork on a daily basis, which I re recommend. And actually you get invited, Aaron, by, by us for the first, uh, first Upwork gig. If you want, we can invite you to the platform so you don't have to actually apply there and risk getting rejected. We just apply you, we give you the first gig, which means that it will be like, most of the things will be easily um, obtainable, right? And, um, yeah, your job success score, and maybe this is the most uh, difficult one, your job success score should be at least 90% for at least 13 of the last 16 weeks. So, which means that, like, if you finish, say, one gig a week, and in one of the last 16 weeks you got, an, um, like, a non-successful a recommendation then you would actually have like in one of the si last 16 weeks which means that it is less uh, you you still have more than 90 percent job success score but one in one week you actually had zero percent job success score uh, which would mean that you don't get the um, top rated status you only get the top rated status if you in every week in each week of the last 16 week you have more than 90 percent job success score so Summarizing, if you if you like, you should you should get gigs by clients. Uh, for you, Aaron, this is simple simple initially because we uh, think that we hire you for the first gig, so you have some activity and uh, you can finish some gigs. And you should you just like your 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 jobs should actually uh, get rated um, as uh, successful, which means it should you should just need to deliver the work and do the work and delight the customers and follow the action steps in the freelancer course and. Um, and you do this actually and you earn more than 1000 bucks. So it, I mean, it can be easily obtained by anybody. And this is like the argument I, I often make that everybody can join the top 10% of the people in this in a, in a given space by just being persistent and delivering value day after day. You don't need to be smart. You don't need to like know a lot when you start out, right? You need to be able, you need to be willing to learn, right? You should maybe learn, read some books, improve over time. But you, but I mean, you should just satisfy the clients. Just like it's very communicative aspect. You don't need to have a need to be a master coder. It is more important to be communicative and uh, and and willing to actually um, um, deliver or delight your customer. You should be value oriented. This is much more important than being a master coder, right? So therefore, I um, recommend that people start out being a freelancer very quickly. And um, uh, even though, even if they don't feel ready to actually take the first gig because they think they have too little coding skills, it is not. It is not so much about the coding skills. You just have to finish the gigs. I mean, you can finish the gigs even if it takes you longer than than another guy, right? I mean, over time you should become more efficient, but like your your number one priority is to actually increase the client satisfaction, to to give them everything they want and more, to over deliver and to um, pour pour all your heart into it and uh, create super value for for your clients. Okay, so I think uh, so. The top rated status has as many advantages and of course if you are top rated you actually you make more on average of course but you get also like clients will hire you with a higher probability your client acquisition costs drop you only pay 10 percent um uh, fees so your fee fees on upwork reduce which means that upwork incentivizes very very strongly incentivizes to be to become a value giver on, on their platform if you are a value giver usually you don't have any problems and upwork will recommend you upwork recommends the top rated people first and you can see it if you search for 
any anything like here if you search for blockchain they first recommend me a top rated freelance so upwork recommends top rated freelance so you have many many perks and benefits if you are a top rated freelancer on upwork and this should be your target and this target is very easily achievable if you just focus on uh, focus on it day like on a daily basis like focus is much more important than say innate talent talent or skill okay anyways uh aaron thanks for joining the freelancer course great to have you on the course and if you have any questions then uh just check out the the things the mastermind group where i'm active myself on discord and uh yeah we can <clears throat> chat there and exchange like your you, you can exchange your um experiences and struggles and everything with other like-minded business person or uh, young creators like you um um who actually joined the course previously. So we have like a community of, uh, of, of business persons who actually, who started out creating their own first coding business online. And we help each other. We try to like uh, increase the odds of each other's success by sharing our successes and failures. Okay, anyways, thanks for joining the course and see you in the course, bye.